Hello. Buongiorno and good morning. How are you? Ciao. Bene, grazie. Come stai? How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, nice to see you nice. again. <laughs> and, and really sorry it didn't work out last time. As you can see now I have set up my computer here. And the computer okay. is filming your work, so the people will be seeing what's, what's on the laptop and not what I am seeing. But they can okay. hear us, that, that is the, the most important part, and they can, they can most importantly see your work, which is, which is what we want, because we want to talk about your work and, and about, a bit about what you're doing and who you are. So, thanks again. Um, we have to tell our viewers, we had a talk last week already, and I had some, I had some technical issues, and... Uh, forgot to record the audio. So I'm really sorry for that and really thankful again that, that I'm very much appreciated that you'll give us a little tour about yourself and your work again. So if you could give us a short little introduction of who you are, where you're from, and just let us know a bit about you and your work, please. Yes, I am Paul Troiler. I'm a painter and I'm from Italy. Actually, I've been born in the south of Italy. And uh, now I live in Milan, and I work in Milan with, uh, um, thanks God, my family uh, with me. And um, actually, I was uh, in advertising for 15 years, and uh, um, after this beautiful experience in, in a couple of agencies like Sachi and Sachi and uh, I don't know worldwide, I, I started to paint. I started to draw when I was four years old and I, um, drawing was my companion for a lifetime. So uh, when I decided to start painting, uh, um, unfortunately um, or fortunately, I forgot to buy brushes so I started to paint with my fingers and uh, this is the uniqueness of my work even if I try to give uniqueness with the meaning and not only with the technique actually. But when, when you say that you paint with your fingers, what is the difference for yourself and also for the result on the canvas compared from your fingers to the brush? Uh, first of all, I erased, I totally erased the gap between me and the canvases. Yeah. And uh, so, as I love to say, I'm not the media, I'm a source. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, so it's like I'm, uh, I'm uh, crying uh, the um, uh, color on, on a canvas. Um, our drops are of, of colors that come directly from my body to, the, to another body, which is canvas. So no intermediaries in, uh, in this. And uh, I, the result is uh, quite interesting because um, I'm, uh, uh, I'm trying to make hyperrealism with finger, which is, uh, somebody says, uh, unique in, in the world. But uh, at the end, uh, even if you have this feeling uh, of a, of a, a photography, from long distance, you are once you go uh, close to the canvas, you realize that there are uh, tons of uh, 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 small touches on, on it. So, actually, the difference between uh, fingers and, and, and brushes is the fact that you have a different material and the touch is visible and it's uh, and no no brush can give this feeling uh, of, uh, uh, of of touch on the canvas because there's a smoothness that you don't have with fingers so it's quite uh, uh, hard touching the, the canvas I love this I mean I feel in deep, deep deep content with what I what I do and if you if you see the fact that uh, I paint mostly bodies and paint I paint them with with the body so it's a full circle of uh, of work and and and, and thoughts yeah that, that's the interesting thing because you mentioned the body of the canvas you also mentioned your your own body which is part of the artwork because your hands are creating the work and you're, you're working on, on parts of the body or, or on whole bodies as well and the anatomy of, of uh, the body is something very important to you, is that, is that right? Absolutely yes, because um, 
I grew up with a mother that was a painter, uh, flowers, uh, flower, flower painter. And um, she was um, quietly uh, giving me uh, material to, 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 to draw uh, without, in, in, without uh, you know, without mandatories. Yep. And that was the first good thing. The second uh, special thing was that my father was a doctor. And once he realized that I was good in, in drawing, he started to ask me to help me him in uh, preparing the transparencies leaves that uh, we used to uh, present uh, yep. at the um, conferences. Uh, uh, medical conferences and so I started basically to draw the path the pathological anatomy at the age of uh, six so <laughs> the link with the body was so strong and uh, after also the loss of my father uh, in uh, 95 um, gave me the vision of uh, struggling and emotion uh, related to the to the body and that's what I what I um, an, uh, analyze in uh, in my in my art thank you for for this explanation and when we come to this work which you donated to our charity project I know you said it's a uh, Actually, it's one of your, your very special and hard works that you gave to us, so we, we feel very honored. Could, could you let us know a bit more about this work precisely? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm, I'm in love with this canvas. I, I kept in, uh, it in, in my studio for, for a long time because it was my personal uh, collection. Some of my works, yeah. they don't go far from me because I'm uh, so linked to them. And uh, this is one of them. I mean, it's uh, uh, to me. I consider this painting a kind of milestone in the in my in my path. It's uh, it's because the composition, the strength of this image, is so uh, strong for me that um, I consider it uh, as a point of arrival of my painting. Not only because of a uh, very tough. Uh, visualization of the body with all these beams and all these muscles and uh, on uh, on on the feet, but also for, as I was saying, for the composition, because um, uh, yeah, at the beginning uh, there is a misleading image because uh, it's like uh, one man uh, in a, in a kind of. Um, uh, a sort of relaxed position as yeah. uh, when you are seated and you go with a, with a, with a feet across the other. But at the end, you realize that are two right feet. So this is uh, a trick. Something. It's it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a very meaningful action to me because it's the, one of the most important um, and. Um, that happens often in our life, most important uh, happenings, uh, which is stumbling and having uh, some a kind of uh, conflict with uh, in our path. path. And um, the composition with these two strong shadows uh, are is, is so important because uh, it creates like a, um, a triangle that gives to the, to the painting a very strong dynamic. Uh, so it's um, it's yeah. Also, also you because you chose two different colors for the shadow. You've got a light gray and you've got a really dark gray. So you you leave a lot to the interpretation of your viewer because this could be the the bright side and the dark side, for example. So there, there's a lot to see and and I can tell you from um, I mean we we have the exhibition now open since a week, and we had lots and lots of people here. I can tell you on the Saturday we had more than 150 people in the, in the whole exhibition. And um, many people are striking by your work. They are standing there and you suddenly realize that they, that they are a bit confused in the beginning. Because they, they think about the foot and most of the time I let people stand there for a minute or two before I approach them and say, hey, if you want some information, I can, you can ask me. 
or I just say, hey, have you realized it's two right feet? And it's quite interesting to see the reaction on that. So we have a very, very positive uh, approach on your work already. Oh, and thanks. I mean, you know that art uh, sometimes means that once the, your work is not only for you, but it becomes a kind of a universal way of speaking. That's the way, that's the moment in which a work uh, becomes a work of art. Uh, so thanks to the audience, painting becomes art, I believe. Yeah. And um, actually, yes, I love in um, some of my works, and most of my works, I love to uh, find a, a point of cracking system in which you are asked to um, interpret it and to understand something that at the first sight you didn't understood. So, uh, understand. And uh, this is one of the, the best um, results. Uh, and the body in, is, uh, is, uh, is a full uh, tale. I mean, uh, once I uh, visualize body, it's like I'm writing a book of an, of an happening, of something that happened. Yep. So, uh, once you are in front of, of my canvases, you are in front of a, of a story that you can participate in, you know. And, and everybody has got his own story when, when they view at an, uh, or take a look at an artwork, because you can have... You know, you know it's stumbling. Is, is, uh, belongs to everybody, yeah. like the, the mistake, the um, uh, conflict, is, uh, is the center of most of my canvases. Uh, it's actually the dark side of the moon, but uh, as, uh, as, as it exists, uh, the dark side means that exists also a bright side, as he was saying about the shadows in this, in this case. You know? Yeah, yeah, and I, th I think and think that's that's what what most people be, people see in this work is that that it's a mix because you really when when you look at it, of course, you directly realize what we are talking about. It's two feet, and then you start to see the shadow, and then you also see, of, of course, the amazing way of how it's painted. But then you also realize, oh, it might be that the other one is stumbling there. Or is it standing relaxed? It, it really makes the people confused a bit. And that's, I think, the fascinating part about it, because people are really standing there. And if I then tell the people that these feet are painted by hand, it's something that in the first second really makes them smile. And, and quite a few have asked me already and say, are, are, you really, are you really not joking with me? Because it looks like it's painted with brushes. And I'm like, no, 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 it's painted with the hands. So yeah, that's definitely, but it's, you know, it's, um, I, I, I love the fact that I paint with singers, even if I think that technique is nothing without meaning, and um, so, uh, but, but one thing that, uh, that is very important is the fact that I'm a first fan of my work and uh, uh, of, my, of the result of my work. I mean, to me, this miracle this human miracle it never it never ends, you know. And uh, and as soon as I finish the canvas, um, uh, I am the first one who says, "Wow, this is this is magic." Yeah, but I I can tell you, you're not the only one who is fascinated and who feels and loves this magic about your work. There have been several people already that really. Uh, there was there was a lady here on Saturday that asked asked me if she could have a chair because she wanted to sit in front of your work and said, I want to look at this for a few minutes because I want to understand it. So oh, you've, wow. you've, you've really done the magic for, for us as well. Paolo. But to me, to me it's, it's so precious to be part of the most precious um, element of uh, human being in general, which is time. Yep. I mean, I love to enter inside the, the time life, the timeline of the, of the life of people and uh, occupy a, a parenthesis of time uh, so, so precious. Yeah, and I, I can tell people are fascinated, so am I. I really love your work. Paolo, I say thank you very much again for another 15 minutes I've you stolen from you. Mine. 
it's it's a real pleasure. It was great talking to you. It's always fascinating. Um, as I said last time uh, already, we can go on for hours, and I can't wait um, when when the borders are open again and we have Corona in a in a safe measurement that I can come to you and we'll have a nice glass of wine and talk about your work for hours and hours. So can't wait for that. It was a great great pleasure. I say thank you very much. All thank the best you. from Vienna and bye bye to you. Thanks, Paolo. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too. Ciao.